Hello everyone and welcome back to the WCG for this first innings of the first Better Beer Test match between Match 11 and Brendan's 11. Match 11 dismissed for 95 in their first innings, which is actually probably a pretty fair effort considering at one stage they were 6 for 28 and had to rely on most of their lower order to get them out of trouble and get them up to a decent total. As we take a look at the Match 11 first innings wickets, Daniel Arnold was the first to go. He had just hit bowling for four the previous delivery. However, misjudged this one and played back to a ball he probably shouldn't have, as this one skidded on, and Brennan's 11 got the early wicket they craved. Harry Dean was the next man to go. He also went cheaply. Ryan McFarlane picking up a wicket with his first delivery in test cricket. It was the big wicket of Harry Dean, no less, and the green machine were reeling at two for 11. And when Joey Azar became the third wicket to fall, with a score on just 18, the Blues were well and truly on top in this morning session. Young Costa Savas opening his account for the new season on this occasion, and things got worse for the men in green. It was four for 25 just after the first cycle, as the skipper Matt White was strangled down the leg side. An unfortunate way to get out, but he had to go nonetheless. And the green machine were reeling at four for 25, as Perinara picked up his first wicket of the new season. And then the blue skipper would go bang bang in consecutive deliveries. First he knocked over Pat McGregor, who had to go for just two. Clearly angered with himself there, the big man, who missed a genuine full toss and should have put it away. And then the very next delivery, Alex Stepien moved too far across his crease and was bowled around his legs. And just like that, Brendan Scott was on another hat trick and the green machine were reeling at 6 for 28. Jake Kasatcher was the first Green Machine batsman to enter double figures. However, his brief cameo came to an end on 15 as he became Ryan McFarlane's second wicket for the innings. And after a brilliant knock from Hamid Basher, the vice skipper, which yielded 34 important runs, he became the eighth wicket down as he was dismissed by Troy Hayden and the Green Machine were 8 for 78 in the 20th over. Kay Cook became Scott's third wicket of the innings as he nicked an in-swinger from Scott. Cook's debut with the bat yielded zero and the Blues were looking to wrap this innings up. Mark Pastorfield would make a stoic little knock at the end of the innings. However, his knock came to an end on 16, becoming Bowling's second wicket of the innings and the match 11 innings wrapped up with the score on 95. So as mentioned prior, important runs from Kasatia, El Basha and Pasterfield at the back end of the innings has propelled the Green Machine to a decent total of 95 considering they were 6 for 28 at one stage in their innings. So they do take with them some kind of momentum into this Brennan's 11 innings and if they can knock the skipper off early then 95 might look like an impressive total indeed. Yeah, and it will be the blue skipper, Brendan Scott, who will get this Brendan's 11 reply underway. Had an awful series with the bat in last year's Test Series defeat. Can he put that behind him and get his side off to the start they need in this one? So the Green Machine have 95 on the board. And it's going to be Mark Pasterfield, surprisingly, to bowl the first over of this innings. As in now, round the wicket here to Scott. And this one's a wide delivery outside the off stump. And Scott leaves it alone. We saw this in the limited overs fixture last season where Pasterfield dismissed Scott in the first over. So I think this is a good move here from the Green Machine skipper. Here is Pasterfield continues to round the wicket here to Scott. And this one's a good length delivery outside the off stump. And once again, Scott leaves this one alone. He scores of just 9, 13, 17 and 4 in last year's Test Series for Scott. He is his first season ever that he has not registered a half century. The skipper is under a bit of pressure to perform here. As Pasterfield will continue again now to Scott. And this one is pushed down the leg side. And Scott leaves this alone once again. And of course Pasterfield picking up Scott in the first over of last year's limited overs fixture. Which was the culmination of a miserable season with the bat for Scott in blue. All up he could only amass 43 runs. With an average less than 10. So he'll be hoping season 8 is not a repeat of season 7. Here is Pasterfield will continue to Scott now around the wicket. He was in now, and this one's a back of a length delivery on. Scott can't get this away as he mistimes this into the ground. And it's fielded by the skipper, Matt White, at mid-off for no run. So the pressure might just be building slightly here on Scott. I'm sure he'd just like to get off the mark here. As Pasterfield now goes over the wicket to Scott. Oh, and he's hit this uppishly! Oh, and it's been dropped by Pasterfield off his own bowling! 
Well, that was nearly the moment again here for the men in green. It's a let off for Scott here in the opening over. He was not to the pitch of the ball, plays this uppishly, and Pasterfield has dropped it again. To be fair, this was travelling off the bat of Scott, but that's an opportunity missed. It'll be Harry Dean to bowl the second over of the innings. As in now to Scott, he begins with a full delivery, bang on the money, and Scott jams this down and moves through for a single to get off the mark. Harry Dean on the money from ball one, as he typically is, and Scott's done well to keep this out, to be fair. Dean to continue again now to Scott in the second over. He was in now, this one's a full toss, and Scott gets his way through mid-wicket for the first boundary of the innings. Dean just misses his length here slightly, and he's punished. So a confidence booster there for Scott, as Dean will continue again now to him here, and that's a beautiful delivery there from Dean, and it might just be a better leave here from Scott. How much is this Mr. Stump by? Oh, it's cleared it by away. Good leave. Dean to continue over the wicket here to Scott. Who's in now, this one's a full delivery, it's over pitch, and it's driven down the ground for Scott's second boundary of the innings. I think Dean may have been trying to slip that Yorker in once again. He's just missed his length slightly, and he's been punished again from Scott. So the Blues and Scott move along to nine, as Dean's in for the final ball of the over. This one's driven down the ground once again. Oh, but he's driven it into the stumps, and it has rebounded nicely here for the men in green. Unlucky there for Scott, who's looking good early. No wicket for nine, as Hamidul Basher will bowl the third over of the innings. As he now ran the wicket here to Scott, he begins with a full toss. And it's hammered on the offside for Scott's third boundary. That is a gift served up there from the Green Machine by Skipper. Four runs. El Basher to continue around the wicket here to Scott. Here he's in now. This one's a full delivery and it's been hammered down the ground once again from Scott. For his fourth boundary of the innings. It's two full once again from the Green Machine point of view. And it's been dispatched. So Scott has raced along to 17. As El Basher is in for the final ball, off the over, it's another full toss, and it's another delivery which goes to the boundary. The Blues off to a flyer here in their first innings reply. No wicket for 21 after three. It'll be the skipper Matt White to steam into his opposition number. He is in there and begins with a typically quick delivery, and Scott is good enough to get the bat there in time, and keeps this one out. So Scott has moved along to 21. His high score in a test match at the WCG for some six innings. Here is White will continue to him now over the wicket. Here is in now. This one's a full delivery. Oh, and how has this not bowled him? It's an absolute bullet from White, who cannot quite believe this has not bowled his opposition number. Oh, that is right through Scott in a hurry. And that cannot have missed the stumps by much. Yeah, look at Scott's face there. He knows he's been beaten by an absolute beauty. And White cannot believe it. Well, it's always must-watch TV when White's got the ball in hand. As he steams him once again to his opposition number. And this one's a good length delivery as Scott leaves this outside the off stump. So a brilliant start with the ball to Season 8 here from the Green Machine skipper. As he'll continue to Scott once again. He was in now and this one's a good length delivery. And Scott is good enough to keep this one out. The Blues know we get for 22. As Joey Azo will bowl the sixth over of the innings. He's in there and he begins with a short delivery, which is punished through covers for Scott's sixth boundary of the innings. Too wide and short on this occasion, and Scott has pounced all over it. Scott and the Blues move along to 26. As Azo will continue again now to Scott, and Scott drops this at his toes, and he moves through for a single. So good this from the Blues skipper, 27 not out. As mentioned, he has missed out in recent times at the WCG. Generally, when he gets a start like this, he goes on with it. So the alarm bells might be beginning to ring here for the men in green. As Azar continues to Scott, and he's overpitched on this occasion. And Scott hammers him down the ground for yet another boundary. Scott moves into the 30s. And the Blues are away to a flyer in their reply. So the Blues know we get for 31. As Azar is in for the final ball of the sixth over. And this one's a full toss, and Scott gets a thick inside edge. And he pierces the gap through mid-wicket for another boundary. 13 off the Azar over. The Blues 35 without loss after six. It'll be Alex stepping in to bowl the seventh over of the innings. 
As in now, around the wicket here to Scott. This one's a good delivery, which Scott drops at the fence and moves through for another single. Well, it's a good bit of bowling there from Stepien. Scott's good enough to keep this one down and moves through for a single. The Blues 36 without loss. It's going to be Kay Cook, the debutante, to bowl his first over in Test cricket. Here he's in there. Oh, what an introduction! With his first delivery ever at the WCG, Kay Cook picks up the biggest wicket of them all. He's got the blue skipper who is beginning to look dangerous. It's a good delivery which jags back into Scott as it goes through the gate. Scott has to go for a well-made 36. And that was just what the doctor ordered here for the green machine. Welcome to the WCG, Kay Cook. So that's just what the doctor ordered here for the green machine. As that wicket now brings Joe Severi to the crease at number two. Scores of just five and one in his two knocks in test cricket so far. Can he stand up for the men in blue here? He'll have to contend with Kay Cook who's fired up after his first delivery. Into Severi. Here's in now this one. Drifts down the leg side and there's a massive appeal here from the men in green. And it's been given not out. Well the green machine were pretty confident with this one. Here's we take a look. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. That may have caught the edge here. And the green machine cannot believe it. Well, perhaps a let off there for Severi. As it's going to be Jake Asatcher to bowl the 10th over of the innings. As this one's a full toss. And it gets past Kate Cook there. At mid-wicket for Severi's first boundary. So he's off the mark in style. As he guides a gift there from Kasatcher. To the boundary. Kasatcha in for the final delivery of the first cycle. Here he's in now, and this one's a short wide delivery. Severi goes bang down the ground as he hammers this away for a maximum. Ten off two deliveries to begin his innings here for Severi. And the Blues are on top early. So it's been a good start to the reply here from a Blues point of view. Just a loss of the one wicket. The Blues skipper a few overs ago for 36. Brennan's 11, 1 for 48 after 10 overs. And they'll be pleased with where things stand at the moment. They still trail the Green Machine by 47 runs. But they've still got nine first innings wickets in the shed. So it's going to be Mark Pasterfield to bowl the 11th over of the innings. He was in there. This one's a short wide delivery. And Severi was caught reaching for this one. And I think this one might have caught the toe end of the bat. Here, let's have a look how far it was away. It was not far away at all. Past the field to continue to Severi around the wicket. Here's in now. This one's a good length delivery. Oh, and this one gets big on Severi. And he's hammered it, but he's hammered it over the fence. So that's the second wicket down for the Blues. Severi has to go for 10. It's a ball that got big on Severi. And he's hammered it all right, but he's hammered it two or three metres too high. It popped up off a length, and Severi has to go for 10 as Pasterville picks up his first wicket of the season. So the Blues 2 for 49 in the 11th over, as that wicket now brings the vice skipper Henry Perinara to the crease at number 3. He too has struggled for runs at test level here at the WCG. Can he stand up for his side now? So it'll be Mark Pasterfield to continue to Perinara for his first delivery. Here's in now, this one's a back of a length delivery and he rocks onto the back foot and punches this through mid-wicket for a boundary with his first delivery. A confident start there for Perinara as the 50 comes up for the men in blue. Has to field in for the final ball of the 11th over. Here's in now, this one's a full toss and Perinara hammers this down the ground for back-to-back -back boundaries to begin his innings. So Perinara off to a flyer to continue the trend here for the Blues. Two for 57. It'll be Alex Stepien to bowl the 15th over of the innings. As in our round wicket here to Perinara. And it's a good delivery to begin with. And Perinara is solid back and across as he defends this on the offside for no run. So a good patient start here to his innings here for Perinara. Stepien is into him once again here in the 15th over. And this one's a full delivery driven back down the ground. But it's well fielded by Stepien off his own bowling for no run. So Perin 9 of 22 deliveries to begin his innings here. Stepien is in once again to him now. This one's a full toss. Oh, and it's taken a bit of an awkward bounce here in front of Stepien. And he can only help it into the boundary. Here, let's see if we can see anything untowards here. Yeah, it's just kicked up off the surface. And it rebounds into the boundary. 
It'll be Jake Asachi to bowl the 16th over of the innings. As in now to Perinara. Perinara gets a thick inside edge. And he's going to take Steppy and on as it rebounds off the fence. Oh, and with a decent throw, I think this might have been close. But I think you'll find on the replay this is missed by some way. It's a good bit of bowling there from Kasatcha. It's a late decision to go from Perinara. Yeah, and the throw's well wide. So Perinara's moved along to 14. As Kasatcha will continue to him now in the 16th over. And this one's over pitch. And Perinara goes bang down the ground for his fourth boundary of the innings. Perinara's highest score in a test match as he moves along to 18. The Blues 2 for 67. Kasatcha to continue to Perinara in the 16th over. As he goes around the wicket on this occasion, oh, it's a good bit of bowling, which has beaten Perinara in flight. It's a good reply from Kasatcha after being hit to the boundary. But Perinara remains undefeated. It'll be Cade Cook to bowl his second over of the innings. Here he's in now to Perinara, and he begins with a full delivery, and he's done it again! With the first ball of his second over on this occasion, he removes the dangerous Perinara. What a debut this is for Cade Cook with the ball. As Perinara has to go for 18. 3 for 67. Well, Cade Cook has 2 for none off his 7 deliveries so far. As that wicket now brings Riley Cornforth to the crease at number 4. He too has struggled for runs in test cricket at the WCG. So the Green Machine will be sensing an opportunity here. As Cook is into Cornforth for his first delivery. Oh, and this one's been pushed wide of the off stump there from Cook. And it's been given by the umpire. So if the Green Machine can just pick up a wicket or two here in this next passage of play, they'll feel like they're right back in this contest. Here is Cook, is in once again to Cornforth, who's been found reaching for one. So things just starting to bubble up nicely here at the WCG in this contest. Early nerves there for Cornforth. It'll be the skipper, Hamidul Basham, to bowl the 19th over of the innings. As in now, random wicket here to Cornforth. And it's a good delivery as Cornforth tucks his off his hip onto the fence. And it's fielded by Alex Stepien at mid-wicket for no run. So the men in blue, 3 for 69 in their first innings. Trailing the green machine by 26 runs. As Obasha is in once again to Cornforth. And this one sits up. And Cornforth slaps this down the ground to get off the mark in style. It's a bit of a gift served up there from the green machine by Skipper. And it's been hammered. So Cornforth has moved along to four. As El Basha will continue around the wicket to him here. And this one's another back of the lane delivery. And it's brilliantly tucked off his hip once again. This time it goes to the boundary. That's a brilliant bit of timing there from the youngster. Who expertly tucks this away. So the deficit is just 18 runs now. As El Basha will continue again now to Cornforth. And this one's a short delivery. And it's been hammered by Cornforth. But it's flicked the top of the net. And gone over. So that's unfortunate for the youngster, but he becomes the fourth wicket down for Brennan's 11. As we take a look at the replay, it's flicked the top of the net. And it's gone on the wrong side from a Blues point of view. Hornforth has to go for eight. The Blues four for 77. So unfortunate there for the youngster who's beginning to get going. As that wicket now brings Ryan McFarlane, the test debutant, to the crease at number five. It is the big passage of the match with things starting to get tight here in the first innings. Can the Green Machine go bang bang? Here's El Basher's in for the final ball of his over. It's a good length delivery and it's well played by McFarlane. Back down the pitch to end with. It'll be Daniel Arnold to bowl the 20th over of the innings. As in now around the wicket here to McFarlane who gets a thick inside edge and it runs away through mid wicket for his first boundary in a test match at the WCG. So he too is off the market style. And the Blues move along to 4 for 81. So a positive start to test cricket with the blade here for McFarlane. As Arnold will continue around the wicket to him once again. And this one's a back of a length delivery. A good delivery there from Arnold. And McFarlane is solid in defence as he drops this at his toes for no run. So looking good early on here is the left-hander. As Arnold's in once again to him now. This one's over pitch and it's been hammered down the ground for McFarlane's second boundary of his innings. An impressive start here from the debutant who races along to eight. Arnold to continue to McFarlane in the 20th over. Here is in now. This one's a full delivery with the swing ball. And this cuts Ryan McFarlane in half. I think this one might have ended up going through the legs of McFarlane. Let's have a look. Yeah, it did. Good delivery. Arnold in for the final delivery of the 20th over. 
Here he's in now around the wicket and he gets a thick inside edge. Once again, McFarlane. Oh, but it's a good bit of fielding here from Jake Asatya, who prevents another boundary in that mid-wicket region. He pounces quickly on it. It's a good stop from Kasatya. So the test match is well poised as we reach the end of the second cycle here in the Brennan's 11 reply. The Blues 4 for 85 in their first innings. Trailing the Green Machine by just 10 runs. With 6 first innings wickets still in the shed. So you'd have to say they'd be the happier of the two sides as things stand. Here the Green Machine will be hoping the big guns can stand up in the next few overs. So it's going to be Harry Dean to bowl the 21st over of the innings. As in our round wicket here to McFarlane. And begins with a back of a length delivery outside the off stump. And McFarlane is happy to leave this one alone. Now the Blues trailing by just 10 here on first innings. So they'll be hoping they can build a pretty handy first innings lead. Here is Dean will continue around the wicket here to McFarlane. And once again it's a good length delivery outside the off stump. And once again McFarlane's happy to leave this one alone. Here things well poised in the first test match of the series. A reminder that the team that wins the first test match usually goes on to win the series every time. And that is just what the doctor ordered for the men in green. As Harry Dean knocks over Ryan McFarlane with an absolute bullet. He set up McFarlane beautifully in this over. Two wide ones to begin with. And then slips in the quick one right through the defences of the big man. McFarlane has to go for eight on debut. And the Blues five for 85. So the Green Machine are into the Blues middle to lower order now. As that wicket brings Josh Bowling to the crease at number six. And the Green Machine will be sensing an opportunity to run right through the Blues here. The Blues still trailing the Green Machine by ten runs on the first innings. As Dean will continue around the wicket here to... Bowling for his first delivery. Here is in now. This one's a back of a length delivery. And it's a solid defence there from Bowling. And despite a misfield there from Obasha, White sweeps around him to cover well. So a big period of the test match now. As Dean will continue again now to Bowling. And this one, oh, it's nearly gone over the fence. Now I'm not sure if there was a bit of bat here. Here's, we'll take a look at the replay. No, it looks like it was just off the leg. The Green Machine fighting back. It'll be Mark Passfield to bowl the 22nd over of the innings. As in now to bowling, and this one's a short delivery, and he rocks back and hammers this down the ground for his first boundary of the innings. So he too is off the mark in style as he slaps this down the ground. The Blues 5 for 89, as Passfield will continue again now to bowling, and this one's a short wide delivery outside the off stump, and it has been called as such there by the umpire. So the Blues trail the Green Machine by just five on the first innings now. As Passerville will continue again now to Bolling. And this one's tucked off his hip nicely onto the leg side. And he moves through for a single. Here a slide for good measure there from Bolling. Just to make sure he got home. So he moves along to five. The score five for 91 here in the Blues first innings. Match 11 lead cut to just four. As Passerville continues around the wicket here to Bolling. This one's a four delivery and he's knocked him over. So Bowling stay at the crease is a brief one. As he becomes the sixth Brennan's 11 wicket to fall. Pasterfield picks up his second wicket of the innings. The Blues now six for 91 in their first innings. As Bowling has to go for five. And in true Green Machine fashion, they are fighting back with the ball. So the Blues six for 91 in their first innings. As that wicket now brings Michael Maybury to the crease at number seven. He did show in last year's Australia Day T20 Big Bash that he's not exactly the worst with the bat. Can he stand up for the Blues here? So it's going to be Mark Passfield to continue around the wicket to him now. He's in now. This one's a full delivery. Mabry goes bang down the ground. First ball. Well, how about that for confidence? Even Pat McGregor has to give him a high five. That is a beauty to begin with. And the Blues now lead. So the Blues 6 for 97. As Passfield's in for the final ball of the over. And this one's hit obviously back towards him, but he can't take the catch. And furthermore, it runs into the boundary. So Mabry, 10 off two deliveries to begin his innings. The 100 up for the Blues. Runners 11, 6 for 101 after 22. It's going to be Daniel Arnold to bowl the 25th over of the innings. Here he's in now to Mabry. Oh, and he's pierced the gap once again. And this one's gone for another maximum. Mabry on fire here at the WCG. These are important runs for the Blues. Mabry races to 17. It'll be Jake Kasachev on the 26th over of the innings. He's in now around the wicket here to Mabry who goes back again. 
into the stands. It's another maximum. Maybury on fire here at the WCG. Maybury races to 23 now. All of a sudden, the Blues lead by 19. As Kasatcha is in once again to Maybury. Oh, that's a beautiful delivery, which has the beating of Maybury. And that's a good reply after being hit for a Zach. So the Blues, 6 for 114. A lead of 19 runs. Thanks to Maybury, who's 23 not out. Here's Daniel Arnold goes behind the stumps. Here is Kasatcha's in once again. Oh, it's a master stroke from Arnold. Maybury throws the bat and his hat in disgust. He knows he's had a boo-boo there. I don't know where he thought he was going, but that's the end of Maybury's brilliant little cameo. 23 important runs here for the men in blue. And that's a good bit of keeping behind the stunt from Arnold. Maybury advanced the previous delivery and missed it. Arnold saw that and went behind the stumps. And an impressive knock comes to an end. So the men in blue, 7 for 114 in their first innings. An overall lead of 19 runs. As that wicket now brings Peter Fowler to the crease at number 8. He too is short of runs in the test match arena. And the green machine will be fancying their chances. Here is Kasachi will continue around the wicket here to Fowler. Who's in now, that's a full delivery. And has played towards her middle basher. Who fields well at the mid off. So the test match well poised here with the Blues having a slight lead. The Grey Machine will be looking to wrap this up to prevent that lead getting any greater. Here's Kasachi's in once again to Fowler. This one's a short delivery and Fowler plays this on the leg side. But he can't get past Alex Step in there at mid on. So Kasachi in for the final delivery of the over. Here this one's a full delivery. He plays this up towards Step in once again. But this time it gets past the big man. Fowler off the mark in style. 7 for 118 after 26. It's going to be Hamid Basher to bowl the 27th over of the innings. As in now around the wicket here to Fowler who plays this absolutely towards Jake Kasatcha. And I think it's rebounded off him and dropped by Alex Stepien. It's a calamity here at the WCG. Let's take a look. It's played towards Kasatcha. It was travelling. He's done well to react. And he's pushed it straight to Stepien who should gobble that up. And he's dropped it. A nightmare there for Matt's 11. Well, an opportunity goes begging here for the Green Machine. As El Basha will continue again now to Fowler. Oh, it doesn't cost him anything. With the very next delivery, Fowler goes. El Basha picks up his first wicket of the new season. And the Blues are now eight down. Fowler goes for four. After playing back to a delivery, he should have been forward to. The ball crashes into the poles. And the vice skipper picks up his first wicket of the new season. And sprays the taunting Brennan's 11 players in the process. Oh, you love to see it. So the Blues 8 for 118. An overall lead of 23 runs. As that wicket now brings Costa Savas to the crease at number 9. He's yet to score a test match run at the WCG. Can today be his day? Is who have to contend with the match 11 vice skipper. Who's into him now. And Savas plays his way on the leg side. But it's well fielded there by Alex Stepien. It'll be Pat McGregor to bowl the 28th over of the innings. As in now round the wicket here to Savas who blasts this through mid-wicket. For a boundary. His first runs in a test match at the WCG for the big man. And they come in impressive fashion. McGregor to continue around the wicket here to Savas. Who's in now. This one's a good length delivery. Oh this one goes for a maximum. Costa Savas on a mad one here at the WCG. He joins the party. He moves to 10. And these will be frustrating moments for the Green Machine. Well, the lead now stretches out to 33 for the men in blue. As Pat McGregor will bowl again now to Savas. Yeah, and you wouldn't get any prizes for betting that that was going to be short. And it's a swing and a miss there for Savas. So the Blues 8 for 128 in their first innings. An overall lead of 33 runs. As McGregor's in for the final ball of the over. And Savas gets a thick outside edge and it goes to the boundary again. Savas moves to 14. The Blues lead stretches to 37. These are crucial runs from Savas. The Blues 8 for 132. As it's going to be Cade Cook to bowl the 29th over of the innings. And it's a full toss and it's a thick outside edge there from Savas. But it hits the fence and drops safely. So brilliant this from the youngster. 14 not out. His first runs in a test match at the WCG. As Cook is in once again to him now. He gets a thick inside edge. And his cameo comes to an end. 
Cade Cook picks up his third wicket of the innings. An important little knock from the youngster comes to an end on 14. The Blues 9 for 132. And the skipper pays homage to the youngster's efforts. So the Blues lead by 37 runs. As that wicket now brings Troy Hayden to the crease, the last batsman in for the men in blue. Can he push this lead up towards that 50 mark? Or can the Green Machine wrap this up quickly? That's going to be Cade Cook looking for his fourth wicket. Into Hayden, it's a full toss! And Hayden hammers this on the offside for a maximum to begin with. Well that will annoy the men in green even further as the lead moves into the 40s. The lead stands at 43. As Cook will continue again now to Hayden. And this one's a good length delivery. And Hayden gets a thick outside edge. And it goes over the fence. So that's the end of the innings. Kate Cook has four wickets on debut. It's the best bowling figures ever by a debutant. The Brennan's 11 innings comes to an end on 138. And Kate Cook writes himself into history. So an impressive first innings with the bat here from the men in blue. Sees them take a 43 run lead with them into the second innings. They have been bowled out for 138. The skipper Brendan Scott top scoring with 36. Michael Mabry chiming in with an impressive 23. And Kay Cook with the best figures on debut. Finishing with impressive figures of 4 for 7. So the men in blue will take a 43 run lead with them into the second innings. Thanks largely to the platform laid by the blue skipper who scored his highest score in a test match for some six innings at the WCG. He would pounce on anything over-pitched in an innings that consisted of eight boundaries and four singles. It was a typical Scott innings where he respected the good balls and pounced on anything loose. An important knock of 36 at the top of the order got the Blues underway in this reply. As we take a look at where things stand at the halfway point of this test match, it is the men in blue who will take a 43 run lead with them into the second innings. It is quite a substantial lead and the Green Machine are going to have to produce a pretty impressive second innings with the bat if they're going to set the men in blue a decent title to chase. The second innings of this test match coming up next.